All right, uh, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at Data and Analytics Garden Summit. Uh, and look who I have with me, Chandra Donaldson. Chandra, welcome to the Robert Show. It's, I've watched you online, I've seen so many things on LinkedIn that you share, but it's such a pleasure to finally meet you in person and have you on the show as well. No, absolutely. This is an absolute honor. Again, the work that you're doing across the data analytics community to connect and bring people together is phenomenal, and it's just an honor and humbling experience to be to made it to have on the Rabbit Show. So thank you for the invite. Thank you very much. She was very kind to say that. Uh, that keeps us motivated. So thank you once again. And. Um, you know, I'm just going to jump right into it. Uh, obviously, a little introduction about you. Yeah. And uh, also, what do you like most about working with USSF? Yeah, absolutely. So, Shandra Donaldson, um, I am new to the United States Space Force. I currently serve as the Space Force Data and Analytic Officer. I've been in the seat for about three months now. I came from the Department of Army Intelligence Community, where I was there for a little over seven and a half years, where I did things from open source intelligence all the way to data governance and strategy. Yeah. And it's just amazing being part of the Space Force. Um, so the Space Force has a very unique culture. Guardians are just so innovative, and they want to get out, and they want to get stuff done. And it's amazing to be part of an organization with a culture like that, where people want to get out front. I've worked in organizations where you're having to teach people how to be data literate. You're having to teach people how to be AI literate. But guardians across the Space Force, there's there's digital literacy that already exists. So right. we're just trying to teach people how to move out and, and innovate very quickly, but also do so safely. Love it. Thanks for sharing that. Also, how important is facilitating collaborations to you? Because I'm pretty sure you are in and out uh, doing a lot of collaborations up there. Yes, yeah, so collaboration is very important. I honestly think facilitating collaboration is like my primary role and responsibility. Yeah. So there's a lot of things taking cross, uh, taking place. I'm sorry, across the data analytics space, where it's in the federal government, industry, which I know you do a lot of partnerships yeah. with, and it's important to know what everyone is doing. So this role is a very strategic position. You mm. have to be focused on today, understanding what the problems are today, but also be forward thinking enough to understand what the problems Future. are tomorrow. Yeah. Right. And kind of lay the train before the tracks and build exactly. an environment that people don't even know they need yet. So, And you can only do that by collaborating with people to be able to connect today, connect tomorrow, and most importantly, connect the warfighter. Love it. And since we are here at the conference, which is Data and Analytics, Gartner Conference, <laughs> and um, I would love to know what, what do you think is fun about data? I think everything is fun about data. Um, <laughs> Everything is yeah, about data. Yeah, exactly. Um, but most importantly, data is constantly changing. Um, analytics is constantly changing. The environment is changing. The players are changing. Um, the tools and capabilities are changing. So there's no day that's the same in this space. And I think you probably experienced that as well, especially with the Gen AI. I know it is, it is the hottest thing going on True. right now in the community. True. So it's almost like every day I come to work, I'm a student, I'm learning about different capabilities wow. and things that exist. And it gives me the opportunity to leverage that entrepreneurship. So how do you build up something and how do you create that startup and make sure you're able to keep moving forward in a space that's constantly changing? And it goes yeah. back to the importance of having partnerships and being able to facilitate collaboration. This is awesome. Uh, thanks for sharing all the details. Definitely collaboration kind of plays a very important role. And I l really like your part where you mentioned about obviously you're a student every day when you go to yes. work, uh, which is, uh, you know, we, th maybe that's how our space is evolving very quickly. Yes. Right. Every day I see new updates in AI. Every day, sometimes ours as well. Yes. <laughs> so we are in this fun space, but it's so much to learn, and uh, there are so many interesting things that's happening. So, thanks for sharing that. But um, also, I want to know how important is space. <laughs> <laughs> Space is so important. So you have your, your cell phone there. Space is so important. Space is vital to everything that we do. And I don't think a lot of people understand that. So if you think about your cell phone communications, mm. your Wi-Fi, if you're connected to the Gartner Wi-Fi today, your GPS technology to help you get to and from this, this event, that's all space. Those are right. all things that are happening in the space domain. And space is critical. And it's important that we all begin to understand that space is part of our everyday lives. Right. I mean, we have a slogan. Across the department, there's no day without space, and that is absolutely true. Okay, that's awesome. And Did you know you, that you needed space for your Wi-Fi uh, and your cell phone and GPS? I, now that I think, <laughs> uh, now that I think, I'm like, oh, yes, really? So think like, about a day where that everything. capability is not available. Oh, my God. You guys are doing the real thing, to be honest. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, so what is the, again, another interesting thing that I wanted to obviously get into is what is the key 
to enhancing space domain awareness because like you mentioned about you know obviously the wi-fi right now the mobile this is something that we even don't even think about because it's easily you can take it for granted oh wi-fi it's so easy but yeah no we don't think about it i'll be honest before we're coming over to the united states space force i didn't think about it either but when you think about the space domain it is the largest area of responsibility across the department of defense yeah so you think about the size of it i did a google search and it's like 93 billion light years large and i'm like what does that mean and that equates to one trillion football field so think about sun, yeah yeah <laughs> it's a lot so think about just sunday football trying to watch one game on one football field now think about if two of your favorite teams are playing at the same time and you're trying to watch pivot from two games and think about one trillion football games and times 93 bill it is a lot, a lot so you right? can't do that alone it requires partnerships with industry government and academia you can't we cannot do it all not at all yeah Okay, this is fantastic. <laughs> yeah, space is big. <laughs> space is big. Very true. Uh, so, what are you looking forward to most about Gartner as well? Since we are here, <laughs> the swag. And, the swag. And talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> so no. sweet. I'm it's like, on record. Wow. I know. I'm looking forward to um, connecting with partners. There's a lot of a lot of representation here from a lot of different sectors. We're all trying to figure out the same thing when it comes to data analytics. So this is a great opportunity right. to connect with them. I'm also interested in connecting with our industry partners and thank them. They've helped us out a lot with overcoming a lot of our historical baggage. Yeah. And I just want to thank them for their service because I know working with the Department of Defense or any federal government agency yeah. is not easy. And I just thank them for I thank you for your your support if you're watching for everything that you're doing to enable us to support our mission that's awesome uh, when you say swag uh, does it mean socks i love socks yes oh, wow. i do i have a couple socks that i already picked up so very it's cool <laughs> I, I need you I, ne I definitely need to need to send you our swag as well the rabbit show okay. swag the hoodie <laughs> So uh, I have the right people wearing it uh, for sure uh, right. but i really like the ussf uh, so well done on that but uh, you know again chandra this is such a you know i can't thank you for uh, you know enough for being on the rabbit show and discussing Absolutely. more about what you're doing how the space yes. looks like and uh, sharing all these things with our audience okay uh, but i'm pretty sure we'll be chatting more and more and uh, we'll be learning more but i'll Absolutely. keep following you on linkedin thank you awesome. thank you so much and thank you thank you everyone